Good afternoon, everyone. Wonderful to see so many of you in person. Welcome to the Boston Public Library's Italian 8 Courtyard. We're delighted to see you and hoping the rain has passed. Uh, my name is Jonna Gifford. I'm the Chief of Adult Library Services. Hello to you in person and hello to those of you joining us virtually today. And thank you to the, our AV team and our programs team for helping uh, this concert series all summer and working with the technology. So we're pleased to have you in person and uh, via live stream. I also uh, want to thank, before we start, uh, the Bank of America. Uh, their charitable foundation has uh, funded this concert series and we're very grateful that we can continue to bring music to you this, uh, this summer. So today, we have a duo. Uh, they describe their music as roots-infused contemporary folk. So I'm super excited to hear that. Uh, we have uh, Monique Byrne and Andy uh, Rigovin from Crow's Pasture. So please welcome our musicians, and they're going to tell you a little bit more about what you'll be hearing today. So thanks again for coming. Well, thank you very much. We, we are going to tell you about what you'll be hearing, but first we're going to play a song, if that's okay. okay. I ever wanted more than to 
you so much. I don't think we've ever played in such a classy joint. <laughs> it's, if it's that classy, Monique, you don't call it a joint. <laughs> right, okay, note to self. Do not call classy places joints. So, yeah, it's lovely to be here. We're going to play a mix this afternoon of some of our own tunes and some cover songs other people have written. That first one was a cover tune. Anybody know the, the band that, that, uh, that wrote and played that song? Yes, sir. It was The Cure, 1989, a British rock band. And when you came to see a roots-infused folk, whatever she said, um, you probably didn't expect to hear The Cure. But um, we like to sing it our, our, our way because it means something to us that way. And we'll, we'll do some of that. But the next one we'll play is, is uh, one that we wrote during the past year. And, you know, songwriters like to write about what's going on. So we wrote a bunch of songs about what's going on. Now we don't want to play them because they're too depressing. <laughs> so we're not going to play most of the songs that we wrote this year. But this one endures because this one has an application that goes far beyond the pandemic and what was going on there. And this song is um, about all the caregivers, people who, are, who spend their energy taking care of other people. Uh, and as we all know, those caregivers uh, sometimes have needs too and, and certainly need to be recognized.
So boy, it's really lovely to be here. We're looking at, for those of you who aren't here, if you're looking at the streaming, we're looking at a lovely statue that I just learned was banned in Boston for like a hundred years. So she's Boston. naked, if, I, if it isn't obvious, if I can <laughs> say the obvious. And so I guess a hundred years ago, they decided no. They and sent her to New York, York, where they would have her no problem. <laughs> so New York. So New York. Right, Brad? Um, so um, some of you may be songwriters, and maybe you do what I'm about to describe, but whenever I write a song, the last thing I do before I play it out or record it or something is I go to Google, and I, I Google the key, the title and the key words, and I see if just maybe somebody already wrote this song before. Uh, and on this one, I did that, and it turned out that, yeah, the key, one of the key phrases had been written, a guy named William Shakespeare, and I didn't know it, I think, at the time. So I'm forging a hit anyway. I'm not paying him any royalties. You heard it here, but uh, he does get a shout out for this one. And we don't need 
Well, thanks. Thanks so much. Um, Just a shout out to our mothers who are watching the live stream. Hi, Mom. Hi. Anderson. Hi, Mom. <laughs> um, so uh, <laughs> this next song was inspired by a cab ride that I took a few years back where I started chatting with a cab driver. This was in Philadelphia. And it turned out he had been a doctor in Nigeria before coming over here to drive a cab. And he was telling me his story. He said he had three young daughters. And he came here because he thought the opportunities for them in this country as children of the cab driver making his way were far better than the opportunities that were going to be there for them back home. And it got me thinking about the sacrifices that people make and have made to come to this country, whether they came in 1620 or whether they came in 1880 or whether they came in 1970, etc. cetera. Um, the people who uh, ha have made great sacrifices for, the, for their kids and for future generations to make a better life. And that's quite an admirable uh, quality. Um, and so it's nice to think that most of us are uh, descendants. If not those people, or immediate children, we're descendants of those people. It kind of makes America a pretty cool place. And this is called Edge of America. Oh, oh, oh. 
So thanks so much. Uh, so Monique is now going to tune this gourd-looking contraption she's playing. Funniest-looking guitar I've ever seen. <laughs> but, um, uh, oh, anybody get the Shakespeare reference? Anyone know what play that was from? And pe people have answered this correctly before when I've asked, although to be fair, we were uh, live streaming and I think they were at home and I think they Googled it themselves. But we are in a library. Does anybody know what Shakespeare play that, uh, that line came from? It's a weird one. I don't know if I should tell you. <laughs> I mean, I just Googled it before I came up here, so I'd remember. Um, it's called Measure for Measure. And uh, it talks about how, uh, unfortunately, sometimes people can rise by sin and sometimes fall by virtue, ironically or tragically. Um, and we, we see some of that, or we've seen some of that. Um, the next song we're going to do is a cover song. It's by a, a band called Lord Huron from Michigan. They're a current band and they play. And we actually encountered this song. I mean, while I was reading Shakespeare, Monique was watching TV. And this was the, I'm just teasing, but the, um, uh, this song has been on TV shows, actually six different shows. We knew it from two of them. Um, it was played on The Flash. Any, any DC Flash fans here? Yes. And, and Gabe, if he's watching at home. Uh, and also on, uh, what is it called, 13 Reasons? Yeah, 13 Reasons Why or something like something that. 13 like Reasons, that. the Netflix show. Anyway, it's something about the song resonated and so we've learned how to play it, at least our version of it. And so that's what we'll do.
Thanks so much. Uh, Monique, I'm doing all the talking. That's okay. People You're want to hear talker. from you. They want to, they want to hear from you. <laughs> so I'm loving the architecture. Wondering if this is neoclassicism or romanticism. From that's... the person who called this a joint, a nice <laughs> joint. And now she's getting all, all highbrow on this. Okay. And either way, it appears to be influenced by Greco-Roman architecture. Seriously. Seriously? Are you, you making that up? So I was prepared and I wore my toga type dress and uh, my gladiator type sandals. And I don't know what you did. I mean, <laughs> I feel like you're not really dedicated I to our get, art form. I didn't get the Greco-Roman <laughs> memo or something. All right, anyway, so... You um, never asked me to talk again. I know, enough of that. <laughs> uh, so this next song is uh, about two things that, that go together in, in my mind. Uh, one of them is a very, very terrible thing that happened uh, to all of us during our lifetimes. It was when the World Trade uh, Center towers fell, September 11, 2001. And when I think about that and when I write about that, I also remember something that happened 37 years earlier at the same place when those towers were just being completed. They weren't yet occupied, but they were at their full height. And there was a young French daredevil acrobat type named Philippe Petit who came and he saw them and he decided it was his life's goal at that point in time to string a tightrope wire from one tower to the other across, uh, across Manhattan and do tightrope walk. And he, he actually, did anybody remember that? Okay, yeah, just a couple people. Uh, there's an incredible movie about it. It's a story worth checking out. I mean, just to get the wire across, he was going to be arrested. This was all against the, the will of the law and the authorities. So he had to get this wire across in the middle of the night to prepare for this walk. And it was a 400 pound cable, because it was quite a distance. Um, so the way they did it is they snuck up dressed as workmen, got on the roof in the middle of the night, and shot, took a bow and arrow, and shot an arrow with a thread tied to it from one building to the other, where his, his buddies caught it, pulled it up, they tied a, a, a heavier rope, pulled it across, tied a heavier rope, and progressively spent a, a couple hours pulling progressively heavy ropes across the, <coughs> the void so that he could then winch down this cable. That's just one piece of the fascinating story and we uh, won't keep going with the story. They want to hear the rest of it. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Uh, so anyway, so that's what this song is, uh, is sort of about.
souls took flight, but they were still there now is life. So we're going to keep moving ahead here. This next one is sort of a birthday song for me because I wrote it when a big birthday was approaching a couple years ago. And one of those big birthdays, you know, with the zero at the end. <laughs> and I noticed that they were just coming up so darn fast. And uh, those, they shouldn't come that fast. I mean, it's fine when you're 9 or 10 and you want to get to double digits or you want to get a teenager. Okay. But anyway, so this song is called <clears throat> Slow It Down.
So, thanks so much. Thank We're going to keep it mellow again for another song and then we'll pick it up. So you don't have to run out and get coffee. We're going to pick up the pace after one more mellow song, right? Sure. Okay. Let's do that. So this one is a, a song written by um, the one we're going to do next, uh, Mary Gaucher. Mary Gaucher is a terrific songwriter. She's, I think, originally from New Orleans, some area. She lived in Cambridge for a while and became a folk singer and then became a very great songwriter. And she performs this song, but she wrote it in 2005 because she was concerned about what was going on in the world at the time, and she thought uh, it was uh, appropriate. Uh, unfortunately, it sort of keeps getting more and more appropriate since then. It's a lovely song by Mary Gaucher. My father a little mercy now The fruits of his labor Fall and rot slowly on the ground His work is almost over It won't be long He won't be around brother could use a little mercy now he's a stranger to freedom he's shackled to his fear and his doubt the pain that he lives in is almost more than living will allow Only the hands of grace 
love life and life itself could use some mercy now. Yeah, we all could use a little mercy now. Thank you. So uh, we are Crow's Pastor, C-R-O-W-E-S, no apostrophe, um, and I'm Andy, and this is Monique, and um, <clears throat> we've got uh, CDs if anybody's, I don't know, do we bring, are we allowed to sell CDs here? I don't know. I don't know. We, do we bring any? Yeah. Okay. We have some CDs uh, here, and, but we're also on the web. If you look for Crow's uh, Pastor, C-R-O-W-E-S, Pastor Duo, dot com, you'll find our, us and um, Send us an email, get on our mailing list or something like that, and we'd love to see you around again uh, at some point as we play from town to town. And the commercial break is over. <laughs> so my family is from Peru in South America. My dad's from a little town called Barranco. And um, he really loved this town. It was on the ocean. It's a beautiful place. If you've never been to Peru, you should definitely go there when we were able to travel there. Um, but anyway, he passed away a few years ago, and uh, we brought him home. We brought his ashes home, and that was a real special moment for me and my sisters and my mom. And uh, that's what inspired this next song. Thank you. 
a way of saying that uh, it was past one, but apparently it's not. So. Yeah. So they gave us. They, we had a fire alarm. Right. Everybody had to evacuate the building right before we we came on, and you all found your way back in. That's fantastic. Thank you <laughs> for that perseverance. And uh, yeah, and then the fountain came on. So yeah, I hate to see when we hit the end of our set. What's, <laughs> what's going to happen? happen? Probably the rain. We'll start. We'll find out. <laughs> Um, so this next song uh, goes out to my mom. I think she's watching. Hi, mom. And mom is, well, I won't tell you how old she is, but she was born in 1929. So you can do the math. And I've noticed uh, that uh, from time to time, she now asks me to help her out with something that might be the kind of thing that she used to help me out with or show me how to do. And it's really nice to be able to reciprocate and, and do that. And you know, we notice that our youngest is 16. And we, of course, when he was, you know, that little kid's age, doing everything for him, and now he's, um, he's doing stuff for us that we can't do as well as him. Um, like using the remote on the TV and um, basically anything electronic and yeah. new. <laughs> they probably could have guessed that, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But anyway, so this song is about, um, sort of about that, that it's nice when you have a long-term relationship like that, you can have that sort of reciprocity. So many ways to be good You don't need me to say that you should Through time, Through time it'll be understood There's so many ways to be good There was a time you could carry Shoulder burdens when others get bored. Now there's a debt you won't say that you're owed. And I'll be the one who will carry the load. And now your voice is a whisper and sigh. But I can't miss the look in. Where I'm more understood There's so many ways to be good So many ways to be good You don't need me to say that you should Don't need me 
Hi, so thanks. So I, I want to thank uh, some of the uh, people who are working hard behind the scenes here. On sound is Jay. Jay, thank you. It sounds good up here. Uh, a round of applause for Jay. And uh, Amanda is in charge of our live streaming video, so I thanks for doing that. And Andrew, I don't know where he went. He's the one who turned off the fountain after it turned on. So a very important guy. And thanks to everybody here for hosting us. This is really nice. And, uh, can you tell me? Do we have time for two or just one, you think? Who's the boss here? One. one? Sounds like, oh, two. We're two? getting two. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to go back to the 80s with this one. You guys can tell us if you know this artist. We belong Wait to... Wait a minute, I was trying to figure oh. out who the artist was. I oh. didn't know, you know which well. song. I thought you were going to tell them. How was I supposed to How know which song? How many 80s songs are we about to play? Which one am I in? Guitar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got to know. We belong to the light. We belong to the thunder. tried to tell you many times I've tried alone. Always I'm surprised how well you cut my feelings to the bone. Don't want to leave you really. I've invested too much time to give you up that easy. To the doubts that complicate your mind. We belong to the light. We belong to the strength anyway have we become a habit did we distort the facts now there's no looking forward now there's no turning back when you say we belong to the light we belong to the thunder we belong to the sound of the words we're both falling so much. Thanks for uh, sticking with us today through the fire alarms and the fountains. This is
This is our last song, and we hope you come up and say hi after. And, By the uh, way, in case you didn't get it, that was Pat Benatar. It was Pat Benatar, but yeah. she launched into the Spanish because the song was actually written by Dave Navarro, Navarro. Um, and when he performs it, he sings, sings it in Spanish sometimes. I think he's a Mexican-American, and yeah. he wrote it that way. So maybe you learned something now today about Pat Benatar here at the library. Yes, David? <laughs> it's all about learning yeah. here at the library. But it sure freezes I'll wait for you Till the bottom of my heart is empty Cause I know, I know We'll always have our seasons And I know, I know We'll always have a reason Thanks so much. Feel free to come up and say hello.